Hi friends, I'm Beth and I'm excited to have you here with me today to talk about neck wrinkles. Yes, neck wrinkles are something that I have been kind of working on very diligently. I would say for the last three months I've been doing something new and I think you will be very interested in it. But before I get into that, I did want to show you the outfit and jewelry that I'm wearing today. All of it is from Amazon. I love this metallic accent top. It is trendy right now to wear a little bit of glisten and gleam during the day and this is just enough and I think I really like it. I've got some great jewelry that is listed below the video and I'm wearing these shoes. They're dream pair shoes. This is not sponsored. They don't even know I'm mentioning these. Oh, I've got a hair on them, but I really absolutely love these. I had a similar pair from Amazon last year. It was from The Drop which is supposedly a really good brand. I like a lot of their stuff, but I stopped wearing them after about an hour because they really hurt. But these are super comfortable and they have the trendy rectangle heel and they're very modern looking, which I really do appreciate that. And I'd also appreciate you subscribing to my channel. It is totally free. And when you click that bell, that just sends you an email notification of my future videos. Okay, let's get into this. And this video is all about neck wrinkles, specifically tech neck and how to solve that. And tech neck is the wrinkles we get when we're looking at our cell phone. And I realize, here's my cell phone, but I realize that I spend a lot of my life doing this. In bed at night, I am doing this. I have a little pillow that I put my cell phone against to be able to look at videos. But basically every time we do that, every time we look down to look at a monitor or a cell phone, we are actually pressing wrinkles into our neck. And I talked with my aesthetics person when I went in to get my Botox and she said that yes, she's having younger and younger people come in complaining about neck wrinkles and she really thinks that it is all due to that tech neck. And I'll show you a three-step method that I have been using, I think, to soften my neck wrinkles. And the first thing I would like to show you, actually this video is sponsored by the Sleep and Glow Pillow People and this is their Omnia Pillow. And you know, it is so wonderful when you have something that is so effective in terms of a beauty device, in terms of keeping you look less liney, less wrinkled, less puffy, and something that's comfortable and that you really kind of take for granted. And I feel a little guilty about this because I bring you lots of beauty videos, especially on skincare, which is my specialty, I think, is, is helping to preserve the younger look of our skin. But I often forget to mention this because I take it so for granted and I use it every single night. And way long ago when I started using it, about four years ago, I really noticed a huge difference because I noticed that I'd wake up in the morning and sometimes I'd like have a long line on my face that would be pressed into my face for hours. It was really not good. And I was waking up puffy and liney feeling. And once I started sleeping on this Omnia pillow, basically within a few days, my face wrinkles really ironed out. And I totally swear by this. And if you don't have a back sleeping pillow like the Omnia pillow, I think you really should consider. And it is an investment. It's a pricey little guy, but that's because this was actually created by a plastic surgeon, by a New York City plastic surgeon. And it really, really works. And the wonderful thing about this pillow is it is not just for back sleepers. And I can be a back sleeper, but I have to admit that in the middle of the night when I wake up, a lot of the time I'll be uncomfortable and I'll really want the comfort of kind of turning to my side and feeling like I'm in a little womb here. And this pillow is great for that because look at this. Basically, look at this pillow. When I am lying, and this is my full weight on my side, none of my face has wrinkles in it. It is not being pressed into it. And look at the effect of actually pressing your face into, in this case, a glass, but it shows you exactly how it looks in your pillow if you are not using a back or side sleeping pillow. But look at this, absolutely beautiful. I can still get my comfortable side sleep in, and yet I wake up looking just fresh as a daisy, really. I know that sounds funny, but I wake up without new wrinkles forming on my face. And I think this Omnia pillow is really one of the reasons that my skin looks pretty good for my age. And I will tell you, I have a discount code listed below the video and a link so you can learn more about this. And I hope you will go and check this out if you are a person who is now sleeping with your face crunched into your pillow. Look at that. This is when you crunch your face into the pillow, you do get wrinkles but this pillow helps you avoid them, which I think is just wonderful. 
Okay, and the reason I put that pillow into this video about tech neck is because if you already have the tech neck wrinkles, you really don't want to be sleeping on a pillow that again forces your head down to where it reinforces those tech neck wrinkles. You really do want to be a back sleeper or a side sleeper with the appropriate pillow. And so I think that pillow is great for helping to soften the lines of tech neck. But also, da 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 da, this is my number one wonder worker. And I've been using this for about the past three weeks and I absolutely love it. And I actually bought this one and I know it looks really, really weird. And I'll show it to you in action in just a few minutes because I have been wearing this and I've learned a lot about this. But basically what it does is you unhook it there, you, you plug it in there and then it sits around your neck. And you guys, I know this looks crazy, but it does really help reduce tech neck wrinkles, I really think. Because imagine that I'm looking at my cell phone down here, and you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but I have all these wrinkles pressed into my neck. Now to avoid the tech neck wrinkles, here's what I do. I just slide it in here, and this little thing slides out and can even accept a cell phone that has a very thick case on it. And I look through the reviews on Amazon for days to find not only a very top quality tech neck phone holder, but also one that would accept a wide phone with a phone case, which is what I have. There were some that were magnetic and people kept saying, oh, mostly your phone drops off. And really, even with this kind of a holder, there were quite a few different versions of this. And people were saying that the phone would fall out. But basically here it is, and you can watch the cell phone up and down like that, or you can turn it like this, in which case you can just watch a video like this. And when you're lying in bed, you can watch a video and you can adjust this anywhere. It's totally adjustable. This little thing adjusts and then this adjusts if you want it way high. And I particularly like using this in bed at night before I go to bed. This morning I happened to wake up at 3.30 and you'll see a little bit of that this morning because I decided I wanted to watch a YouTube video and it was so lovely to be able to lie in bed and yet have my head very comfortably back without making any more neck wrinkles. Okay, I wanted to show you this thing in action. I woke up, I had something upsetting happen at work yesterday and I woke up at like 3.30 and so I decided to put the earbuds in and watch a YouTube video. This is Laura Spaff. She is a great carnivore, and she is, well, I'm trying to learn more about different cuts of meat I can use. I just learned from her about taking a cheese wrap and putting it in the microwave, making it hot and crispy, and putting taco meat in there with sour cream. And Alan is trying to be carnivore now. He started yesterday, so I really need to up my food game. For those of you who follow my channel, you know I'm not much of a cook. But anyway, here I am in bed, and um, there's Alan over there. He wouldn't like this. Oh, there's my, my Omnia pillow, which I sleep on all the time. Anyway, ah, I'll show you kind of how this works. And I've been using this for several weeks now, and I really, really like it. Here's me getting up in the morning. I still have Laura's bath going in my earbuds. She's making something that looks wonderful that you can't see. But anyway, here I am in my bathroom. I don't know if you can see this. And... Um, I just got up and just a few moments ago, I put on my contacts and did my, um, I used the Lumify first, brush my teeth, put in my contacts. But here I am watching this video and I've decided not to fight, not being able to sleep this morning. I've decided to get up and just watch a video in my family room and go have a cup of coffee. I work out in the mornings. That's why I sleep in this. I sleep in my workout outfit. Those are shorts down there. Oh my, this is not easy to shoot oneself with this gizmo on. But I do love this because look at how nice and flat my neck is. And I'm watching a video. I can even make this higher, which I probably will in just a few minutes. But I'll go make my coffee and go out to the family room. Okay, now I can talk freely because I'm not waking Alan up. But here I am in my family room. You can see my family room in the background. I actually sit over there and do my hair helmet and I usually do my little um, Nira device. But my next step is to make my coffee, and I'm so excited about that. I'll turn this around so you can see. Okay, here is my coffee cup. Here's my little Keurig. There are my collagen peptides. I have taken the science research 
college of my guides. Let's see if I can get it open. <laughs> for probably about three years, four years, I really think this collagen helps for my skin. There are the Keurigs. I guess I'll get this one, which, what flavor is that? Hmm. I think this is coconut. It's hard to see. So I'll do the coconut, and I'll just get a little scoop of this. There it is. I'm, I'm really excited because this morning I'll have my second personal training session with Austin, who is my new trainer, Hannah, my first trainer at the fitness app that I use called Future. She went off to have a baby, which is very exciting. I'm kind of excited about Austin because he actually is a weight training trainer, and he is trying to help me get my butt better, <laughs> which, you know, you might as well, even if you're 65, you might as well work on things, so I'm going to work on my butt, and you and I will see together if I can make an improvement. My butt is rather terrible, but it is functional as a butt, so it works. Okay, there's my coffee cup. I'll go ahead and start that. Oh, that sound of that coffee is music to my ears. It is one of the highlights of my life every day is to have my coffee, which I'm really excited about. Okay, here it comes. I guess I can throw this one away. This is the one from yesterday. And I will tell you, while I'm waiting for that coffee to come through, everything looks a little weird around here because, well, I have my 4th of July decor, which I've had for quite a while. It is August, but I, I leave it up as summer decor. Like that's part of the 4th of July decor. That's part of the 4th of July decor. This little doggy is part of the 4th of July decor. But my son, who is 35 this year, is coming home for the weekend for my mother-in-law Darlene's, her 90th birthday. And it happens to be his birthday celebration too. His birthday was a week ago or so. And I've got a lot going on. I have this here, the happy birthday sign, and this little sign just to kind of make my son feel good. He's coming in from the airport tomorrow night, which is Saturday. So I want him to feel good when he comes in. Okay, here's my coffee and I still have the gizmo on. Oh, that coffee is so good. Okay, next I'll go in to the family room. It is now about 10 till four in the morning here. You can see I have a clock up there. It's, it's 10 till four, which is still an hour and 10 minutes before I get up to do my workout. So I'm going to sit here and watch some videos and I really do love this thing. It is super adjustable and I am watching my videos and normally I would be watching them like this, which is making a lot of wrinkles on my neck, but this makes it handy and also portable, which is just great. Okay, on this one, it does adjust pretty much anywhere you want it to, which is very nice. However, I've just been lying here for maybe three minutes and this is hurting right here. Even though it has kind of uh, foam here to make it not hurt, it's hitting against my clavicle and it is hurting. I would have to put like washcloths under this thing. I just don't think this is workable. And there is one other issue, which I'll show you. And that is you're supposed to be able to walk around and do things and listen to your cell phone. And again, I can pretty much put it where I want to, but watch how unstable it is. I mean, that is really hard to get used to seeing. This is the one that I chose to keep out of the three. And it's easy to just click that in, and then it's really very stable. I mean, it's not perfectly stable, but when you're walking, it's not bobbing around like crazy. Now, for the last couple of months, I have used this little cream, and this is a Strybectin cream called TL Advanced Tightening Neck Cream Plus. And here is the deal. I always heard about Strivectin for years and I thought, oh my gosh, they started saying they could reduce stretch marks, that they had a cream that could do that, and they say this and that, but there's probably nothing to that. This is probably all marketing hype. And so I didn't think anything about it. And that is before my sister came to work. I work with my sister and she said, have you ever used the Strivectin Neck Tightening Cream? And I said, oh no, I think that's just a gimmick. I, I would never try that, it's kind of expensive. And she said, well, Beth, I have been using it and look at my neck. She says, I think it looks markedly better. And I had to admit that I really felt that her neck was looking very youthful compared to what it had looked like in the past. And so I got some of this and I have used a good deal of it. It's pretty much down to about half in the jar. 
but I do plan to reorder it because I think it has really been helping my neck. And I use it morning and evening after washing my face. I use this Strivectin Neck Tightening Cream and I really feel like it may be helping. One more thing about this device, which I think is truly amazing, is not only does it really help prevent neck wrinkles, but I love the way that it puts your head back instead of forward. Because in addition to neck wrinkles, I've been a little worried because I seem to be slumping a little bit. When I don't think about it, it seems like my shoulders are slumped forward a bit. And using that device for the past three weeks or so, I really even feel like my posture is somewhat better. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And this one is actually referring you to someone that I think has been so helpful to me. And her name is Ruth Eichler, and she's a licensed master's clinical social worker. And she practices in Kalamazoo, Michigan. And she is a dear human being. There's a look at her there. But interestingly enough, Ruth Eichler also does astrology. And I'm not talking about the astrology where you go to the newspaper and you say, oh, I'm a Taurus. You know, what is my day like today? That's pretty much like doesn't mean anything at all. She is the type of astrologer that gives you a really in-depth one hour reading over your entire chart. She takes your birth date, your time, your birthplace, and she comes back with an amazing reading. And Ruth Eichler actually used to live in Wichita, Kansas, which is where I live. And I have always remembered her so fondly because when I was about 25 years old, I worked at the Garvey Center. We did a kid's show called One of a Kind. I was the hostess of the show. When we made the shows in the summer, we would make 13 shows each summer. And then in the fall and winter, I would work for Dr. Reardon as an admin, basically as a secretary. And during that time, I was so discouraged with myself because all the other secretaries were so accurate. They were great at what they did. And I just felt like kind of a failure because I really wasn't very good at that. Well, anyway, I had my first astrological reading with Ruth Eichler when I was 25 years old. And at the end of that reading, I realized, oh my gosh, I may not have that particular set of skills that, that I would need as an administrative secretary, as an admin, but I have other skills. And she mentioned that communication was one of my top skills. And by the time I finished that one hour session with Ruth Eichler when I was 25 years old, it was like the course of my life changed. I felt better about myself. I knew my strengths. I knew some weaknesses, directions I didn't want to go in, but I really had a direction for my life. And I credit Ruth Eichler with really changing my life way back when. And so anyway, to make a long story short, recently in my business, and my sister and I have a business together, I won't go through all the horrible details, but we had a really negative situation at work that arose and it was very upsetting to me. And I looked Ruth Eichler up and lo and behold, she now lives in Kalamazoo, Michigan, which is where my, basically my daughter-in-law lives. It's my son's girlfriend. And so I emailed her and got a session and I actually just completed my one hour session with her this morning. And apparently I'm going through a lot of really huge life changes. The things she knew about my current situation were just amazing. I mean, thing after thing after thing. She was asking me, did this happen? Yes. Did this happen? Yes. Are you going through this? Yes. How's your relationship with such and such? Is it a problem? Yes. And so anyway, after that one hour session this morning, even though that situation at work is rather difficult and a little precarious, I really feel like I now have the information I need to really succeed going forward with regard to this issue. And again, I'm not trying to push anything on anyone. If you happen to be interested in this sort of thing, I did link Ruth's information below the video so you could reach out to her. And I can't wait to see you in my next video.